Okay, uh, here's a quick rundown on how to get your utility shed started. Uh, so assuming you have Revit up and uh, PLTW instructions up. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown. Alright, so first off, file. I'm going to create a new, uh, it's a new project. And we're using an architectural template. So make sure you have architectural template. Hit OK. <coughs> Uh, first thing it's asking us to do is rename elevation levels. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go level one, right click, and then go to rename. I'm going to change this to floor. And then this one over here, I'll rename. And I'm going to call this one roof. Okay. It says yes. All right, so those have changed. If you want, you can look at the east elevation view, um, and we're going to take a look at that later. Okay, so next up, we're going to draw exterior walls. Uh, we have the wall command right there. And the first thing we're going to do is just do some basic wall sketching. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this right here. And right now, I'm just going to sketch a box. Uh, I'm going to change the dimensions later. Just make sure things line up. So those are all set now. And I'm hitting escape to go back to just selecting. And once I'm in the selecting mode, I'm going to want to make this section 12. And I'm going to make this section 16. And then it should be a 12 by 16 box. If you want, you can select and move it so it's kind of centered in your box there. Okay. So right now, if I want to, to actually see what this looks like, um, what I'm going to want to do is come over to the <coughs> um, 3D view. Um, I like to go up to this view, and then you can click on right here, 3D view. And right now I see my walls are super tall. Okay, So how I'm probably going to want to do this is I go over to one of my views. Okay, so right now you can see that my walls are super tall. So we're going to edit that later. For now, I'm going to change my roof elevation. This number here, so I clicked on it twice. I'm going to change that to 8 feet. Okay, so, so far, so good. Changing the wall height. Right now, it defaults to uh, 20 feet. Where I would probably do this is if I go back, I'm going to go back to my floor plan view. And I'm going to select my walls. And I'm holding down control to select multiple walls. And right now it says here top constraint unconnected. I'm going to either change this to roof, so up to level roof, or and notice it made it eight feet automatically, or I can make this number eight feet if I just do it manually. Hit apply. I'm gonna take a look at my 3D view now. And now my walls are all at eight feet. Okay, that's personally how I like to do it. Uh, next up, I'm going to add some floors. So back to architecture. <coughs> uh, I'm going to go into my floor plan view. And then floor system. So I'm going to click on floor right there. And the easiest way to do this is boundary walls. So <coughs> um, you can select here, 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 here. Notice it caught my outside wall. If not, I would flip it so that it's on the inside. I prefer it on my outside wall. Okay. Uh, property palette over here. I'm changing this to wood joist, uh, wood finish. This guy. Okay. Um, after that, we should be all set for the floor. So I'll hit the check mark. And if I go to my 3D view, again, now I've got a walls with floor on the bottom. Okay, finally I'm creating the roof. I'm going to go back to now the roof floor plan view. Okay, so I'm on the roof level and now I'm going to go to architecture and I'm going to click on roof so I can start building my roof. Okay, I'm still using boundary lines. Now this one's a little tricky. We're going to want to, first off, uh, we want to overhang on all of these. So one foot overhang. I'm always putting in my properties first. Okay, so notice here it says define slope. Okay, I want my large edges to define the slope. I'm going to uncheck define slope. 
because I don't want these front parts to have a slope. Okay, so you notice this little triangle that says that it's a defining slope. I'll hit the check mark. Okay, go back to my 3D view. It might look like this right now, where things are not connected. So in order to connect them, I'm going to come back over here to my floor plan view, select all of my walls, and I'm going to say attach top to base, actually you might want to go in 3D view here, sorry. So I'm going to select all my walls. Okay, so I've got all my walls selected, now I'll say top to base, and I need to select the roof that I want to attach to. So if we look now, all of my walls are attached to the roof, so it should be all good. All right, if you want, you can change the visual style. You can select it to shaded. Uh, visual styles box is in this bottom corner. And I'm going to go to shaded, and now I can have some color on my box. Okay. If you haven't been saving, this is a great time to save as well. Um, so my recommendation is, you actually probably want to save this on my computer. Go over here to your home drive, is the suggestion, and then uh, maybe you can create a new folder here. That's a uh, new uh, folder. Good. I'm going to call mine CA Practice. I'm going to name it Shed Practice. Hit save, and after that, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the wall type. Okay, so I'm going to select the one of these walls here, and I'm going to go over to change the type by clicking up here. I want to change this to become an exterior brick on metal stud. Okay, after I've done that, click away. I can see that it has some color, and then if I want to. I can come over and make this a realistic view. And I see my brick wall compared to the generic walls on the side of it. Okay. So that should be all for part one. I'm going to hit save again. And we'll have part two in the next video.